this is Sharon with Test Girls Life. I'm here today. I'm going to be making a lemon herb seasoned turkey breast. So, we're going to start out with our uh, lemon herb mixture. And it calls for uh, two cups cubed French or Italian bread. And I have French bread here. So, we're going to get started. So, first, we are going to We are going to put our bread in a proof proce uh, processor and we're going to pulse until uh, coarse crumbs form. So, so let's, uh, I'll get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got our two cups of breadcrumbs done. Uh, you, When you do your loaf, you want to cut off your crust. Uh, so I trimmed all the crust off of it. And just put the inside bread into the uh, blender and pulse it until it's crumbly. So, our next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our parsley and chopped rosemary and chopped thyme. So, uh, we need uh, one cup of coarsely chopped fresh Italian parsley. So, I've got that right here. And so, we're going to get that chopped and we'll put it in the blender okay now i got my one cup of chopped parsley and put it in the blender and then next we're going to take and uh do chopped uh fresh chopped rosemary so i got some uh rosemary here so uh it's this the only kind of fresh rosemary i could get because uh, i found out this time of year it's hard to find herbs that it's fresh. So I'm gonna get it chopped up. Uh, I said it takes uh, we need one tablespoon of chopped rosemary. So I'm gonna get a tablespoon of chopped up and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my one tablespoon of rosemary chopped. So I'm gonna add it to the blender. So next uh, we're going to add chopped thyme. Well, I couldn't get fine uh, chopped thyme uh, that's fresh. So I did take and get thyme leaves. So it's already done. So I'm going to add that to my blender. So we'll be right back. Okay, here's our thyme. So I made that to our blender. And next we're going to take and add this uh, two cloves of garlic coarsely chopped I don't do the whole garlic I do minced garlic so I'm going to add a, a spoonful of that to two okay I've added my garlic and I've done two teaspoons which would equal to two garlic cloves so next I'm going to take and add um two teaspoons of grated lemon peel so i got lemon peel lemon here so i'm going to grate the the lemon peel to two teaspoons and i'll be right back yeah two teaspoons full be right back when that's done okay i got the two teaspoons of lemon and we'll pull you over here next we're going to pulse our blender until it's good and chopped <laughs> doing and once this is getting chopped I will be right back okay next we are going to heat up a fourth cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil until hot So while that's heating up, we're going to have a half cup of onion, so I'm going to get that chopped, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to add a, a half cup of onions, and we'll cook seven to nine minutes. There's a half cup of onions, and we 
little on tender and golden brown so it's going to tear frequently. I'll be right back since this is done. Okay, uh, our onion, onions are done. So now we're going to stir in our breadcrumbs. So let me add our breadcrumbs. And we're going to do our uh, parsley mixture we've done in the blender. We're going to add a, um, I'm going to turn this down on medium high, and then we're going to, or medium low, I'm sorry, and we're going to take and add a teaspoon of salt, so one teaspoon of salt. And an eighth teaspoon of pepper. this for about two to three minutes or until hot and slightly wilted stirring occasionally and then we're going to stir uh, let it cool at room temperature so that's about done so I'm just going to scoot it back here and let it cool um, also uh, your lemon or herb mixture can be made up eight hours ahead all you would do is cover and refrigerate it and bring it back to room temperature before you use it so I'm Next, we are going to heat our uh, oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I got to clean out my oven because I keep a lot of pots in there. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I'm turning my stove up. I got my oven preheating to 350. So, next, we're going to get our turkey out. So, it takes a one by pound bone and skin on turkey breast patted dry. So, it's hard finding turkeys after Christmas. Uh, so, I did find this uh, butter, ball, butter ball, or it ain't no butter ball, it's festive turkey, because it was $14.62 for a five pound one, a four pound butter ball was like $24, so yeah, I went with the cheapest route, uh, which is fine for me. So I'm going to get that open and in my pan, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the turkey breast here. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is let me get a spoon. Let's have to pull the skin up with your fingers. So, and we're going to stick this herb mixture a spoonful at a time under the skin. be just easier to do it with my fingers. Okay. And then we're going to secure it with two picks. Here. 
get in here. I guess you just pick and choose. Where the stuff that's at? You know, it's, you are going to have some fall out a little bit into your pan, but that's fine. Uh, and then it says the neck cavity. You want to uh, stuff some back in here. Got two picks in this thing. So next, we are okay. So I'm gonna set my turkey over here, and I'm gonna rinse this, rinse this pan out because. I've got to stick some stuff in it, so I'll be right back. Next, you can take your pan and you're going to add onion wedges, sliced onion wedges to the bottom of it. And I'm just kind of breaking them up and just placing them. Don't have to be perfect. Just bottom of your pan. It. You just want to spread out until you pan. Let me move that out of the way. Okay. So next, we are going to take and add a uh, one rib of celery with leaves, quickly chopped. So I've got our celery over here, so you go top one sprig, uh, leaves and all, so, let's see, uh, I want right here, so let me wash this real quick. Once I get this done, I will be right back. Okay, I got our celery done. Next, we're going to take one sprig of rosemary and we're going to chop it and add it to our uh, mixture. So I'll be right back when it's done. 
Okay, me, it says have one spray of fresh thyme. I could not find no fresh thyme at the store, so I'm just going to do one teaspoon of thyme and just spread it out. So I got dry thyme. I'm just going to sprinkle it in the bottom of my pan. Uh, when you can't get fresh, you got to make do uh, sometimes. So, unfortunately, but that's what I've done. So next we are going to take in uh, we're going to add one clove of garlic which would be one teaspoonful so uh, one teaspoon of garlic is basically from one uh, Clove garlic, so I'm just going to sprinkle that in the bottom of my pan. And uh, I sprinkled it so it would wouldn't go on one spot. Uh, that my head's going to smell like garlic, unfortunately, but oh well. So next, after that, we are going to take in. Uh, Okay, we're going to take and add our uh, turkey on top of this onion mixture here. And let's see, next we are going to get another small bowl. So I'll be right back. Let me get a small bowl. Okay, I got a small bowl here, so I'm gonna add a fourth cup of lemon juice. If I can get it to I need to make my hole a little bit bigger. So hang on just a second, let me get us a knife. Okay, Let's see if that'll work. Oh yeah. Work 100% better. Okay. Fourth lemon juice. Uh, we need a uh, two tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil. teaspoon of salt and an eighth teaspoon of pepper. So hang on. So I've got a half a teaspoon of salt I'm gonna add and an eighth teaspoon of pepper. So I might get some pepper. Okay and then we're gonna add a uh, um, okay, we're going to mix that up and we're going to brush that over our turkey. So let me get that. Mix it over our turkey here. Okay, 
Flip it to the side. And then we're going to take and um, pour, uh, we're going to pour one cup of uh, chicken broth around our turkey. So let me get that open and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to just pour this chicken broth around our turkey. Okay. And we're going to cover from the lemon pool. And um, we're going to bake covered in one hour, basting every 15 minutes with our pan juices. And then... Uh, so I'll be back. I'm going to cover it in the lemon pool and hang on, we'll do that. I tell you what, there's nothing not rental trout. We got cheap generic rental trout right here. And it's just this heavy duty lemon pool. I couldn't even grill out on the grill for the stuff catching on fire. Uh, so, yeah, uh, don't go cheap on your rental trip, or I don't. I learned my lesson. Uh, because it's so thin that it, it catches on far. So, I'm going to cover this up. And. We'll be back in a few minutes to show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so I've let my turkey bake for an hour and I've been basting it with its juices. I'm going to show you what it looks like. looking like and uh, so now what you want to do is um, you want to remove the cover you want to continue baking on an additional 30 to 40 minutes or until the internal temperature thickest part of the breast we reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit so we're going to take and uh, leave it uncovered and we are going to take and uh, put it back in here. That's it. Let me baste it real quick and we're going to cook it for another hour. So I'll be back and show you what it looks like it's done. Well, hang on. I'm behind here. Okay. So here's what my turkey looks like. So next... What we're going to do is I'm going to move my turkey over here because we are going to strain out all the onions and stuff and uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll drain the, all the onions and the herbs and stuff, put out my pan drippings and I just put it back in with the, into a different pan for my turkey. So uh, that way I can serve it and uh, with the turkey, you know, and uh, you'll get some of the uh, flavor from that juice in with the turkey. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy it. This is recipe. If y'all have any uh, questions, please leave them in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thank y'all for watching and subscribing to my channel. And thank you and y'all have a good night.